Hi, my name is Michelle. I want to welcome you to Morgan and Beth's room. This is a room I, I was hired to do recently. Um, it's for two teenage girls. Their families were divorced and now they are living together. Um, they hired me to come in and create a room for these two girls that would help them to adjust to their new living situations. This was Morgan's room. Morgan is now going to be sharing with Beth, who's going to be here on the weekends with her dad. So it's important that we create storage, that we make this a fun room, and some place where Beth can feel comfortable and Morgan can still have her space. I had a limited budget. I did this for $1,500, and I can't wait to show you what I did in here. When I was talking to the girls, it was very important, and it's always important with me when I'm designing a room, to find out what they're looking for, and these girls wanted bright. Morgan's favorite color is lime green. Beth likes blue. So we wanted to incorporate their two colors, but we also wanted something fun and something different. So we did these CDs, which was a very, very fun project. Um, I did a, uh, an inch trim up on top and the bottom. We painted this the lime green, and then the girls helped me glue these CDs in place. It makes a very cool effect. Adds a bit of sparkle. Every teenage girl needs sparkle and drama. And, uh, and it just really, really makes the room different. So this was something that we did that um, we, we truly enjoyed. It was so important in here, um, the colors. Uh, bright. The girls wanted bright. So we gave them bright. Um, we did the turquoise on the wall. We did the lime green here. Um, and again, the CDs. And then we brought that up with the darker blue and the lime green and the turquoise. The girls helped me with this project. This was a real fun project. We built a box out of wood, covered it with fabric and some batting, and the girls made circles. We stuck those on there, and it was a real, real fun project and a fun effect. We mimicked that on the floor with uh, the circled rugs that I found for $2 each, um, and just, again, add some whimsy, add some fun to the room. This was Morgan's room first. Um, it was important for us to give her storage. She's not going to be sharing it with Beth. She's never shared a room with anybody before. So we didn't, it was very important for us to make sure that she didn't feel like she was being overwhelmed by this, this new family dynamic that was going on in her house. So we did give her storage. We gave her lots of storage. We got these three simple chests of drawers, um, lots of drawer space here. We put up this, this shelving unit. Um, this spans the whole length. We've got a couple here. And then these great storage bins. These bins I came across in the colors of the room, um, came across at a local store, bought a whole bunch of these, and this gives her lots of extra storage here. She has her TV. She has her radio. And then if things get a little out of hand, her clothes, whatever, this gets a little messy, she can close this up with her drapes, and she's all set. We did have a tight budget to work with in this room. So we needed to find something innovative for a headboard, something that was different and creative. So we used dry erase boards. The girls love them. They write on them every day from what I understand. And they also told me that nobody's allowed to enter or exit the room without writing on the board. So I'm going to sign off on the board. Thank you so much for letting us use your room. And thank you for being a part of this. You have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.